Good morning. Welcome to this brief service of prayer and scripture reading coming to you from the Anglican Cathedral Church of All Saints located in Halifax, Nova Scotia on Thursday, February 9th. My name is Fred. I am one of the many retired priests associated with this cathedral. This Sunday past was the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany, and this morning we commemorate Hannah Greer Coombe, founder of the Sisterhood of St. John the Divine in Canada. Let us gather ourselves together in quietness, in openness to God's call, with listening hearts and minds. Those who fear the Lord will form true judgments, and like a light, they will kindle righteous deeds. Let us pray. Eternal God, you clothed your servant Hannah with the habit of prayer and the robe of wisdom to guide her servants in this nation in the ways of holiness and the works of mercy and love. Deliver us, we pray, from inordinate love of this world, that we may be freed for the worship of your name and for deeds that reveal your grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The psalm reading appointed for this commemoration is Psalm 119, verses 145 through 152. I call with my whole heart, answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O that you would save me, I will keep your decrees, Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, are, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. God, as your only Son revealed, you still at work in your creation. So through Christ, your living word, Enable us to know your love and to share it with others. We ask this in your name. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also the Gospel of Christ. Today we commemorate Hannah Greer Coombe, founder of the Sisterhood of St. John the Divine in 1884 in Toronto. Her personal call 
letter to a group of women and men in Toronto who wish to form a women's religious community in Canada. In preparation, she trained for two years in the United States in the community of the Sisters of St. Mary and returned to Toronto to found with those who awaited her the sisterhood commonly known by its initials, the SSJD, the Sisterhood of St. John the Divine. This religious community continues to this day. Over its long history, it has responded to various calls for service in many places, caring for wounded soldiers, the sick, training nurses, establishing a hospital for women, founding and administering schools and orphanages, working with the mentally challenged, the elderly, the poor, providing spiritual care, offering ministries of retreats and spiritual direction, assuming a recognized role in liturgical renewal, hymn book revision, and in supporting ecumenism and interfaith friendship. This is a sisterhood that understands that service changes according to need, while maintaining a common life under a rule of life and under vows. She and those who joined her then and her community now find their treasure in Christ by sharing Christ. Anglican religious sisterhoods and also men's monastic foundations came under suspicion in the Church of England at their formation as somehow anti-Reformation and popish, but by fidelity to their rule and vows, by their dedication to service and their ability to grow in vision and imagination according to need, they have gained a respected place in churches in the Anglican Communion. Baptism is initiation into the body of Christ, but within that body, there are many callings and many vocations, and many different aspects of these vocations. Marriage is a calling, a vocation, and so is celibacy. Ordained ministry is a vocation, and also the monastic life. So-called secular callings are made sacred when practiced by those called by baptism in the community of Christ who live the way of Christ. A well-known poem, I'm not gonna quote all of it, but a well-known poem by George Herbert elevates even common domestic duties to a divine vocation. Teach me, my God and King, in all things thee to see, and what I do in anything, to do it as for thee. A servant with this clause makes drudgery divine who sweeps a room as for thy laws, makes that and the action fine. Let us pray. Gracious God, forgive what we have been. Make holy what we are. Direct what we shall be. And what we know not, teach us. What we have not, supply us. What we are not, fashion us. We pray through Jesus Christ, our brother and our Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now pray as Christ has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the God of peace enable us to do his will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases him through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen.